Okay, we ended the last time with um, the hyperdrive quest. As you can see in the log, uh, from the crashed ship, we got plans for a hyperdrive. So if you hit tab on the starship and hit E, and then you click on hyperdrive, it installs it. We need microprocessors and chromatic metal. Now we have copper 267. What was that that just popped up? New guide entry, making money. Sell items for units on the Galactic Trade Network. Find trade terminals and space stations, outposts and shops. Mine precious metals from asteroids in space or use the analysis visor to locate valuable resource deposits on planets. The mission board on space stations is a good source of income. Visit the mission board to find available jobs. See the mission board entry for more details. Install an economy scanner in your starship to gain access to economic data on the galaxy map. Then plan trade routes to maximize profit. Find complementary economy types for the perfect trade route. Farming can be highly lucrative. Find a good balance of crops and use them to craft new items. Okay, so we read the making money. It says install hyperdrive by microprocessors from a space station one out of five. Where are we? Uh, we're near our base. So, let's head into the shelter, and let's make the chromatic metal. What an odd-looking creature. Kind of cute, huh? Actually, we, uh, we need to increase our life support also down here. Let's use the dioxide first. All right, we're at 100% and have some dioxide left. Actually, while we're here, let's press E and move the jetpack to the technology section to clear a space. And for the ice shield, let's put the ion battery in there. Um, anything else we can do here? All right, so Z... And let's place the portable refiner. We can do this while we're sheltered. E to go into it. Um, let's put the chromatic metal. I don't see the copper. Copper. There's the copper. I believe it's two copper to one chromatic metal, right? So we would need for, uh, we need a hundred, what do we need? We need 125 chromatic metal. So we would need twice that, 250 copper. So the fact that we mine the extra copper is actually smart. Uh, let's... So we go up to 250 to get, um, we need to put carbon for energy. Yep, it'll give us 125 chromatic metal. Now, the microprocessor that we have, it says it values 2,000 units. If you look up at the top, we have 110,000 now. 
So we have enough to buy um, four more microprocessors to build the heart, the hyperdrive. So what we will do, what is this guy doing walking through my shelter? What on earth? What happened? Why did it say shield down? These sentinels. I guess I'm waiting for the chromatic metal. I was gonna go and do, get the microprocessors while we were waiting. Trying to see if there's anything else I can scan from here. When I'm in cover, I feel like that's a good place to scan from. And a little extra units certainly does not, does not hurt. Interesting aliens. All right, E. There's our chromatic metal. So if we go to the starship, rather than taking up an inventory spot on our exosuit, there it is, right up there in the corner. Um, let's just click the hyperdrive and stick it in there. And then the spot is open on the exosuit. Now, uh, in the biofuel reactor, I'll stick like 50 carbon just to be able to go. And go to the um, space station. in search of four more microprocessors. So, good thing we held on to that microprocessor because we'll be able to use it, actually. Later on, wiring looms will be real useful. Too bad I don't think there's a way for people to craft those. This is actually part of the quest to come here and do this. I guess they're making sure you know how to use the trade terminal. Buy for 19000 Oh my goodness. Four of them are going to use almost all my money. And in fact, it's the quest is to buy them from the space station. You see this red and red and white symbol? So they expect us to do it. It's not exactly fair forcing people to spend their money. All right, for them, 76,000 leave us like 30,000. The next quest is to do the chromatic metal. We did that already. So let's install the microprocessors. All right, it gave me an objective complete, you see. So it should give us the next objective. Craft warp fuel, find antimatter recipe is the next objective. 
So interstellar flight requires warp fuel to power the hyperdrive. Follow the signal and locate a source of antimatter to create warp fuel. Okay, so I'll go in and out of the ship to save it. And then we will fly to, and uh, so it's still part of the Awakenings quest line, it looks like. Auto diagnostics report, hyperdrive successfully installed. Left click. Hyperdrive fuel status, empty. My hyperdrive is complete. Perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars. But without warp cells, I will be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. Tune scanner to antimatter. Search for antimatter traces with the starship scanner C. Scanner attuned to antimatter. I don't know, let's take off. Oh wait, oh well, I didn't save it. Um, C? Antimatter trace detected, surprise, surprise. Uh, okay, well we'll just save. It sucked us back in. I wanted to step out and in anyway to save the the game. Now the ships are coming when we don't need them, right? Cuz you could trade with the peep the individual people that go out of those ships. All right, let's take off a second time. And let's fly away from this thing. Now the symbol is above us. There. And let's warp. All right, let's fly above the space station so we don't get sucked in. Let's get lined up a bit. And let's see if we can warp now. Antimatter trace. That, you see that to the right there, that metal thing? How much, oh no, there are a bunch of them on the planet. Oh, up there, you see the building? One thing I like about this planet, it's kind of, uh, kind of flat. It says land to begin search, but we're going to land by the building because we suspect that this building is where we want to go. Uh, always look around your destined location to see if there's something that uh, looks right. All right, let's save and chart. And you notice it moved to the building? So that's perfect. If you mess with these eggs, creatures will come out. Uh, we won't do that for a long time. 
unless you have some really good way to deal with those. Some people look like they jump on top of the building and then uh, jump to the other side of the building because when people spawn from the eggs, it looks like they do not spawn on the other side. They will only spawn from one egg. So then people get the eggs on the other side and leave one. Then when the creatures are gone, they, um, they spawn the one egg and get all the eggs on the other side. I think that's how they do it. All right, we're going to have to go to the, ter the, I think, the terminal. See that forgotten terminal? Um, we don't want to forget it. Ha, ha, ha. All right. So, since we're about to try and maneuver to this. So, this kind of forgotten terminal is sort of unforgettable. Terminal online, selecting key, decrypting. Oh, you see the red light? I suspect that's the red eye. Success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens revealing a single, unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. I take the blueprint and read the log. You will find us when the time is right. 16-16-16, 16-16-16, 16-16-16, 716s. Antimatter, 25 chromatic metal and 20 condensed carbon. We now how to know how to craft antimatter. Let's go back to our base. So, what do you say we go to the space state? Well, we can scan maybe something here. Let's look around. Oh, we've already been here. Uh, where's our plane? Now, this isn't the active planet, is it? Where the uh, sentinels just come after you? Let's see. We discovered this waypoint. It gave us, um, so F to upload it. And uh, if you look in the exosuit, we got a navigation data from that waypoint. We could trade that at the space station for stuff. I pointed it up and used the shift key to take off. Point it, I guess, uh, I'll point it towards the hexagon. And I'll just warp to that. That seemed pretty close. And then I'll use the um, teleporter to get to our, our home. It's probably the shortest way, but I, I don't know. See, the hexagon covers the blue spot. Usually. See the blue there?
and in we go. They injured us just a little bit while we entered. All right, we head up to the, use shift to run, quick. Speed this up. What did you say, buddy? You know what he's saying? I don't know what he's saying. All right, E on the teleporter. And go to our one base listed there. I think the warp time is the loading time for the screen. They probably preload the planet. All right, so we're going to need condensed matter, condensed carbon. So let's um, shoot some trees. G to switch which beam you're using if you need to. We need 20 condensed carbon. Do you remember if it's two to one? I know I already have some carbon, but I, li I, don't, I like making sure I don't run down and down and down on resources. So I'm going to try and grab about what I'm going to need anyway. Maybe a little more. Always need more ferrite dust, too. You notice my shield, that box there, is going down. But um, my hazmat is not going down at all. Oh, let's use this knowledge stone. E. Visions of the Gek. Gek, Gek, Gek. Voix, voix, voix. <laughs> if Gek was French. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A small alien life form kneels before me. They are tired, beaten. Without meeting my gaze, they offer up that, their hand. I accept knowledge. The name Gek floats in my vision an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. And I learned the Gek word for friend. Okay. Let's get undercover. I believe we have to process carbon. I forgot to pick up my processor. Well, if you use it at your base... At least you can't lose it too much. I need 20 condensed carbon. So, what do you think? It'll be 20 to make that? No. <laughs> Sorry. So, we're going to need 40 to make 20. Um... Forty carbon. Begin. Oh, you know what? Um, actually, I'd like to make. Uh, if we use the antimatter fuel, the fuel, that's one warp jump. Don't you think we should have more than just one in there? 
So let's add um, at least two more worth. Let's aim for three antimatters. That sound reasonable? The, uh, uh, I mean, the warp drives, the warp fuel. So the quest guide will give us the amount that we need for one. So there's the condensed carbon. So, uh, so this hyperdrive status unfueled, antimatter craftable, recommendation craft warp cell. So the goal is to craft antimatter and antimatter housing to make hyperdrive warp cells. So right now we have to craft, craft the antimatter. Oh, are we able to craft? We need chromatic metal, which means we need copper. We need to craft copper. So to find copper, we hit F. And there's one at 205, one at 342, 424, 287, 498. 477. So let's go to the 205 one. E to highlight it. Can we recharge this shield? Dioxide. 100% shield. And let's head over there. Sodium projectile ammunition. We we'll need to build a uh, a gun. Oh, it led us to. Let's finish this off so it doesn't keep on giving it to us. What do you think? We should have finished this off before. So the mistake was leaving a little bit over here. Do you see any more? Um, what's the next closest? We need more than this. Copper 139, let's go for that. E. Oh, yeah, it's right there. I could see it. Now, you see, my shield is getting low. When my shield gets all the way down, then my hazmat protection will begin to fall. But you see, now we're able to stay out much longer with that shield. Hit tab. Let's refill the shield. I do not believe the sentinels will bother you if you're using a terrain manipulator. But we don't want to leave 
any copper. I'm shooting a little bit of ground to get refill for the terrain manipulator, the silica powder. Whoa. We'll just get inside here and work on it from the inside. How much copper do you think we got out of this? Was anybody counting? We'll check when we get back. You see any others? No? Uh, you know what? Let's make a way for us to get out. How do you like that one using the terrain manipulator? Let's see if we can recharge the shield dioxide. Not much. All right. Well, we're a little far. Let's see. Uh, G to switch to the mining beam. Keep your eye open for... I'd like to scan that, but... Oh, there's salt. We'll need some salt in a minute. Up. See the picture of the airplane at the top of the screen? Looks like we're gonna make it back. Okay, so we need for antimatter, oh, let, let's see how much copper we got, 250 and 148. We're out of the ion batteries for our active ice shield, but you see the ice shield helped us, gave us the, just enough time to do that. Um. <clears throat> So it's two copper to one chromatic metal. And we want to make three of those. So we need 75 chromatic metal. So we need 150 copper in the processor. One forty eight is close. Um we said 150, right? I think so. Okay. Now <clears throat> we need any we need the housing. We'll need to get 90 oxygen and 150 ferrite if we want to uh, have three of them. I could see scan see if there's oxygen I 
you know, we can buy. We need. We need to make some money off of something, and then we can buy the oxygen at the space station. Because we need we need oxygen, and the ferrite dust we can shoot that. We could just shoot some carbon and ferrite dust. All right, so let's make. The first ingredient. Um, E? No. Click antimatter. And E, two. And E again, three. Three of them. And since it's for the starship, I'll leave it on the starship. Now we need to assemble antimatter housing. Let's go out and mine. I want ion batteries also for my shield. So we can sell frost crystal. How much does frost crystal make us? 300, that's not much. We need some better. We'll need like 150 ferrite dust. Isn't there a cave nearby here somewhere? Oh, okay, sorry about that. Leave me alone. What was that bang? You can scan that. Where was there a cave? Maybe we can get a metal and sell that. Dioxide? Copper, what's closest? Magnetized ferrite? A buried technology module, salvage data, is worth fifty-two thousand. Let's do. Let's actually do that. Let's three o four, three o nine, two o three. What do you say we go after that and sell that, and then buy oxygen? We need like 90 oxygen if we want three of them. Yeah, you see, I switched to the train manipulator and the sentinel just went away. Make sure I don't fall in a pit.
And there is our technology module. So look at that, for salvage data. All right, we can make some money. I'd like to use that for construction stuff. All right, I'll use F to find the plane and the base. I don't see it. Let's head up this way. Oh, what's this? Let's add some sodium to the hazard protection. There's the base and the plane. G to switch to mining beam. We're gonna need ferrite dust. And, uh, you know, you, you need carbon to recharge your beam and to cook stuff. That frost crystal is kind of free here with the carbon. While the beam is hot, it'll mine quicker. Is that a cave down there? Uh, we'll leave this guy alone since he's right over here. We'll uh, we'll be good. Uh, we're out on the beam. Okay. I'd like to finish I'd like to finish the antimatter uh the fuel for the drive before I sign off today but I'm running low on time here let's do this I like to use about 50 carbon for this that seems to be enough time to to use it. Fifty carbon saves launch fuel. Just think of it that way. Fifty carbon in the teleporter, and you don't have to waste launch fuel to fly over there or deal with the pirates. Now, let's, we need to buy oxygen, we need money. So. Sell. So, I'll take 3,000 right now. We'll sell the salt. Sell that goop. Uh, 25,000, we could use that right now. Frost crystal. Um, I'd like to save the copper for chromatic metal. Uh, we could get more navigation data later. Oh, the salvage data, 267,000. 
And we'll open in, uh, well, rusted metal, we can sell that. And sulfurine, we haven't really used that. Now let's buy. How much oxygen did we need? They don't sell oxygen here? All right, well, I certainly want a couple of the ion batteries. Buy like five batteries right now. Ah, uh, the more money you get, uh, the more milestones you get for the money. We're going to have to search for oxygen sources. Let's do this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stop the video here. So we will be on the search for oxygen in the in the next episode. Thank you.